Hey WCHS, it's your anchors Daniel Blankenship and Emma Stroner for show 532 of WCTV. In today's show, we are shooting high with goals, soccer balls, and rockets. What? I know, it sounds confusing. We'll talk more after this. Now that spring break is over, we're working our way towards the end of the school year. I'm so ready to graduate. Freedom, finally. I still have a three long years remaining. Hey, at least you have time to make goals and achieve them. True. I hope that during all my years of high school, I can maintain a high GPA and be in WCTV all four years. As a senior, I've recently been able to meet my high school goals. I finally made all-state speech this year, I've participated or helped in every high school play, and so much more. Wowza, you have a lot of goals, just like a lot of other high school students. Let's go see all of these different goals held by these students. Tucker? Over the course of high school, many students set goals for themselves to accomplish along the way. Whether it's making the B honor roll or making the state track meet at Drake Stadium, it's never a bad idea to set goals for yourself. Let's see what a few students around the school are doing to achieve them. Um, my biggest high school goal approaching senior year would have to be graduating with a 3.75 GPA. To achieve that goal, I am studying hard, getting my homework done, and staying on top of tasks. My advice to underclassmen would probably be just staying on top of things, making sure you remember your goal and continue to push to achieve it. Some of my goals for next year would be to be involved in all sorts of different activities, intramurals, clubs, all that, jazz, and uh, to, of course, maintain a high GPA. My goal is to compete at the state meet. I'm going to work on the off seasons and build up my body strength. Those all sound like some pretty achievable goals. Good luck to all of our students chasing goals here at WCHS, and we look forward to seeing you accomplish them. This has been Tucker Judkins reporting for WCTV. That's a plethora of goals right there. Hey, don't steal George's word. Unless I see a trademark, I will continue to use it. It's George's word. Don't use it. As everyone knows, it's finally April. That means spring sports are in full swing. Emma, aren't you in tennis? Yes, and I sure do love it. Other than tennis, track, golf, and soccer are also starting up. Jacob has a soccer-themed 40 seconds to win it to get us jacked for spring sports. Jacob for that fun 40 seconds to win a game. Other than spring sports, there are many activities and clubs to be a part of at WCHS right now. There are so many clubs here at WCHS. One example is WC Rocketry. They work on building rockets to compete with in the Team America Rocket Challenge. That's so cool. Yeah, there are some pretty amazing rocket scientists and they haven't even graduated high school yet. Dylan has more about WC Rocketry. What's up, WCHS? It's Dylan Berganzel here. Did you know that we have our own rocketry club? Well, I'll be talking to the chairman, a member, and a supervisor on what it's like being in rocketry. Rocketry takes quite a bit of teamwork. As you can see, we're all working as a team over here, loading the rocket onto the launch rail. As far as when we were building the rocket, we each did a part of the calculations, and we each came in and put a coat of paint on the rocket, and all helped calculate and lay out the rocket's design. The WC Rocketry team members put in two 7 a.m. mornings a week, Tuesday and Thursdays, and then we also come in during the summer and we put in 
team meetings as well as we work on our rockets and building. And then we also come in during the school day to work on our rockets. Well, I think I joined Rocketry because I like building things and engineering. We do a lot of engineering and building here. And that. <laughs> As the president, I'm in charge of scheduling all of our team meetings and making sure people are coming. I'm in charge of our donut schedule because we like to have breakfast at our meeting and keeping attendance and making sure everyone's staying on the policies of our constitution. The team spent most of the summer calculating the scale because it took them a few tries, I think. I wasn't in the club then, but once I joined, they were building the whole rocket and that goes a lot smoother. Rocketry sure does sound like fun. This has been Dylan Bergansel reporting for WCTV. Thanks Dylan. Before we get the ball rolling here, we would like to congratulate the Lynx Imperials Band for reaching their fundraising goal of over $35,000. All of the money they have raised is going towards their snazzy new band uniforms. Now as this week's episode of WCTV comes to an end, let's see what will be happening next week. Well, first, on Friday, April 5th, there will be a boys JV varsity invitational track meet versus Algona, Boone, Eagle Grove, Emmitsburg Community Schools, Humboldt, Pocahontas area at Humboldt at 4.30. Starting out the weekend on Saturday, there will be a girls soccer JV varsity invitational versus Boone at Bo Boone. This will start at 9 o'clock a.m. Over at Hudson, the boys soccer team will also have a JV varsity invitational versus Hudson on Saturday. This will also start at 9 a.m. Saturday night will be dedicated to the kids. Dance Marathon is starting at 7 p.m. and goes until midnight at the WCHS PE Gym. On Saturday, Sunday afternoon, the WCHS speech team will have their speech banquet starting at 4 p.m. at the high school cafe. The upcoming school week is kicking off with lots of sporting events. At 4.30 p.m. on Monday, April 8th, the JV and Varsity Track Boys will be versing Southeast Valley at Southeast Valley High School. There will also be a soccer boys JV and Varsity game against Humboldt at Humboldt at 5 p.m. on Monday. The school board will be having a meeting that night at the administration building from 6 to 8 p.m. The next day, Tuesday, April 9th at 5 p.m., the Varsity Girls track team will also be having an invitational versus Algona, Bishop Garrigan, Clear Lake, Humboldt, Lake Mills, and Manson Northwest Webster at Algona High School. That same day at 5.30 p.m., the JV and Varsity Soccer Girls will go against Garner Hayfield Ventura at Garner Hayfield High School. On Wednesday, there will be a Legacy Learning Boone River Valley class that will be taking place at the high school from 6.30 to 9 p.m. The JV and Varsity Girls track team will be heading to Perry High School on Thursday, April 11th for a track meet versus Perry Community at 4.30 p.m. Meanwhile, the JV and Varsity Track Boys will verse Forest City at Forest City High School starting at 5.30 p.m. At North Polk, the JV and Varsity Boys tennis teams will go against North Polk at 4.30 also on the 11th. Go out and cheer on the links for these. There are many sporting events taking place this upcoming week. All these events take place outdoors, so I hope the weather is nice and sunny for all the players. Let's find out with Florence. Hello WCHS, Florence York here for weather. It looks like it's going to, be a warm, going to be warm this weekend. On Friday, it will be partly sunny. The high will be 62 with a low of 46. Winds will be around five to eight miles per hour from the southwest. Saturday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 68 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. There's a ch slight chance of rain, so dress accordingly. Sunday, we will have a high of 67 and a low of 46. Wind speeds will be ranging from 8 to 13 miles per hour coming from the southwest with a chance of rain, so be prepared. This has been Florence York reporting for WCTV. Episode 532 has come to an end, but we will be right back at it for episode 533. And 533 is no ordinary show. It is the controversial show. Taking our place at the anchor desk will be Jacob and Mackenzie. And I will be returning as the weatherman. This has been Emma Stroner and Daniel Blankenship reporting for WCTV. See you next week. Make sure all that. Woo! <laughs>